With Delhi's hazard air going from bad to worse, the odd even traffic rationing scheme is kicking in from today. Vehicles with registration numbers ending with an odd digit will be allowed on roads on odd dates and those with an even digit on even dates. Around 200 teams of Delhi Traffic Police have been appointed to ensure compliance and around 5,000 civil defence volunteers have been trained to spread awareness. Violation of odd even rule will attract a fine of Rs 4,000. Delhi has a do-or-die situation with pollution levels breaching new scary limits every day. As the odd-even scheme kicks in, the public transport has been perked up to take the additional load. Delhi Metro will operate 61 additional trips during the 11 days when the odd-even scheme will be in force. A major burden is also expected to be shouldered by over 5,600 DTC and cluster buses. Cab aggregators Ola and Uber have said they will not apply surge pricing during the odd-even scheme. While Delhi gasps for air, BJP ministers are sharing their wisdom on ways to fight pollution in the capital. Health Minister Harshvardhan has suggested eating carrots to get vitamin A, potassium and antioxidants and fight pollution-related harm to the body, while UP Minister Sunil Bharala has suggested divine intervention. Bharala said that a yagya to please Lord Indra will set things right. He also defended stubble burning as a natural process. The BJP Shiv Sena Mahabharat has shifted to Delhi today. While Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis is in the capital to meet BJP central leadership over ally Shiv Sena's demands and tantrum, NCP boss Sharad Pawar will meet Congress President Sonia Gandhi later in the day. Pawar and Sonia are likely to discuss support to a Sena government in case the NDA allies finally fall through. The Sena has been threatening to form the government with the NCP and Congress support if the BJP doesn't agree to its Chief Minister post demand. Amid the power tussle with the BJP in Maharashtra, the Shiv Sena will meet the governor today at 5 p.m. Sena leader Sanjay Rawat, who has been attacking the BJP since the assembly poll results, has claimed that Sena has support of 170 MLAs and is capable of forming the government. The Sena leaders will ask Governor Bhagat Singh Koshiari to invite the single largest party to form the government and then give others a chance if the BJP fails to prove numbers. Days after a two-year-old died after falling in a bore well in Tamil Nadu's Trichy, a similar tragedy has struck another child in Haryana. A five-year-old girl died after falling into a 50-deep bore well in Karnal district. Rescue workers tried to pull her out, but to no avail. The girl fell into her family's bore well while playing on Sunday. Rescue workers supplied oxygen inside the bore well and used a camera to check on the child, through which they saw her foot. But all efforts could not save the young girl. The UP government has issued strict guidelines for social media users in Ayodhya ahead of the Supreme Court verdict in the Ram Janmabhoomi Babri Masjid case. The government order says that no one should make any derogatory remarks on deities on social media platforms. There will also be a complete ban on any celebratory event or victory procession on the Judgment Day. TV crews have also been prohibited from conducting debate programs from the town without permission. Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa has accused the Congress of distorting his statement on rebel MLAs. The Congress has announced statewide protests over what the party calls the Chief Minister's confession on the BJP's involvement in engineering defections. In a viral video, Yadurappa is purportedly seen expressing his displeasure over the opposition from his party leaders to the tickets given to rebel legislators for the December 5th by-elections. The Congress will also raise the issue in Supreme Court where the verdict on disqualification of MLAs is pending. BCCI President and former India Captain Saurav Ganguly believes that split captaincy isn't a good option for Team India. In an interview to the Hindustan Times, Dada said that he doesn't think that split captaincy is required to be even discussed. Earlier, many experts believed that having split captains in tests and the shorter formats would ease pressure off Virat Kohli and will also help Team India deliver better results. One of the biggest advantages of having MS Dhoni behind the stumps is his accuracy with the decision review system. Captains would depend on it while the fans jokingly called it the Dhoni review system. His potential replacement Rishabh Pant seems to be having a tough time while helping his captain with the DRS. After missing two crucial calls for leg before in the first T20 versus Bangladesh, fans began to troll Pant, but captain Rohit Sharma came to his rescue. Rishabh is you know still very young, uh, still is hardly played 10 10 12 OD, uh, T20 games. So he, he, he will need time to understand those kind of things because it's too early. He will understand slowly and we need to give time for him uh, you know, to make, the, those under, uh, make those decisions. 
If you're planning to visit the northeastern state of Meghalaya, you would now have to register with the government, said Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong, according to a Hindustan Times report. As part of the new Meghalaya Resident Safety and Security Act 2016, any outsider visiting the state for more than 24 hours will require a permit from the government. Further details on the documentation required have not been revealed yet.